Hi, this is Don, and I'm an old school kind of guy. But I do like my Pepsi Max. It's new to me. Some of you young people have had it all your life, but. Today I want to talk about corridors. Now, I'm kind of a teacher. By nature, I wasn't a teacher in school systems, but I was a, a mentor to people in my field. And I am a teacher of sorts these days in another way. We're going to go into that. But I like teaching. No homework today. Well, maybe a little bit, if I pique your interest. I love corridors, and I want to give you three things about corridors. I could talk about them for hours, but I just want to give you three things. And the third one is the reason I believe that I had six corridors die on me this weekend. So number one, corridors like to school. I'm not talking about three corridors like your local fish shop will tell you. I'm not talking about the thousands you see in the wild. I'm not talking about the 200 or 150 you'll see in a 210 gallon community South American tank. I've seen that, it's spectacular. I'm talking in a 55 gallon tank, at least 10, maybe 20. In a 10 gallon tank, I, I wouldn't do less than four or five. Ten is, is the bottom end of where I want to be. They are happier in a school. Yes, some will school with other species of Corydoras. Do I have less than ten of any species? Yes, I do. Sometimes that's all I can get when I go to buy them. And believe me, it's hard for me to turn down Corydoras. At the auction, I had people actually ask me, please don't bid on this one. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't want that one. Um, <clears throat> number two, corridors like sand or mud. But none of us keep mud in our aquariums. At least not that I know of. With that said, I hear all these stories about, yeah, corridors, if they have aquarium gravel, they they rip the barbels right off their face and over time and then they can't find food. Well, I've never seen it. And in the old days I had Corydoras with aquarium gravel over an under gravel filter and I didn't know any better. And uh, I lived in Portland, Oregon and we weren't the hotbed of information. The East Coast was, Germany, Europe, UK had a lot. I had to buy books or talk to local people, and I didn't know any local people that were Corridora freaks. So it took me a long time to learn it. Today I like to watch my Corridora. Some of them bury half their head in the sand, digging for something they smell. Um, my experience, Corridoras don't dig in aquarium gravel too much because it hurts. And so they're smart enough to not do something if it hurts. That's my experience. I just prefer to give them what's best for them, what makes them happiest. I am the fish keeper, and it is up to me. And these are my precious little fish and I will do whatever it takes to make them happy uh, to the best of my ability. The third thing I want to teach today is why I believe I lost six Corydoras from the auction this weekend. But I bought these early in the day and about an hour later my daughter was adding something else to the uh, cooler and she she noticed that one didn't seem to be doing well. She pulled out the bag and and we actually um, waited about a half an hour and, and then we went back to talk to one of the workers and 
they were going to rebag them for us, and and uh, by then we had one dead quarry, and we had one that wasn't doing well. When they went to rebag them, a second one had died. And a third one did not look good. So they put that one in a bag by itself, and they put the other three in a bag together. By the time we got home, the one in the bag by itself was dead, so was one of the others. So I had two left on Saturday night. One died Sunday morning, and one died Monday morning. Well, during the night, Sunday night. It wasn't looking good Sunday night. So what do I believe caused it? Internal parasites? No. Poor bagging? No, that was suggested. But here's the thing, a lot of Aquarius don't know that some quarries, all quarries, most quarries, a few quarries, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But Corydoras can exude a toxin. Now you think about it in the wild, you have a thousand Corydoras and a predator comes and they all exude this toxin and then they scatter. And it paralyzes the uh, predator for a moment and lets them get away. We're not talking a heavy duty uh, poison that's going to kill everything in the water. However, even Corydoras are not immune to this. And if they get stressed, like being bagged, they might, may exude this toxin. Now, maybe if they're tank rays, they don't. I don't know. I don't know what the criteria is. But if they exude this toxin, they're going to kill themselves. So when I buy Corydoras, I prefer to have the fish store put them in a bag wait 15 minutes, prepare another bag with fresh water, net the fish out, or pour them into the net, however you want to do it, and put them in the new bag. Because they evidently don't carry a lot of this toxin. It takes time to build it up. So there you go. Research it for yourself. That'd be your homework. And just remember, this hobby is supposed to be fun, so have fun.